Hello, it's Monday, April 4th, and I'm Lee Stone with a daily outlook from Maxi Forex. The dollar mostly weakened versus the major currencies after the unemployment rate came out at 8.8%, better than the expected 8.9%. And the non-farm payrolls came out last Friday at 230K, better than the expected 203,000, which makes investors prefer higher risk currencies over the U.S. dollar. The finance markets in the U.S. closed positive as the Dow Jones rose by 0.46% and the Nasdaq gained 0.31%. Crude oil rose by 1.1% and closed at $107.94 a barrel due to positive data from the U.S. and instability in North Africa. Gold fell by 0.8% and closed at $1,428.90 per ounce. Today, Chicago Fed President Evans will speak. The Euro-US dollar reversed sharply on Friday, racing losses and posting its highest weekly, highest weekly close since January of 2010. The pair did not reach fresh highs over the week, but finished between 142.20 and 142.30. The most important event for the Euro this week is the interest rate decision that will come out on the 7th where expectations are that there will be a rate hike of 25 basis points or 0.25 percent. The unemployment rate came out at 9.9 percent, which is unchanged from the previous report. The euro USD is facing a resistance at 142.80, and once it breaks this level, it will likely continue to 144. Overall, euro USD traded with a low of 140.62 and with a high of 142.45. Today, no major economic data is expected. The pound declined against the greenback at the beginning of last Friday after the manufacturing PMI came out at 57.1, worse than the expected 60.90. But when the NFP came out, the pair jumped more than 130 pips and closed the week at 161.07. Holding above the critical support zones of 160.80 will push the pair higher once again. Overall, GBP USD traded with a low of 159.71 and with a high of 161.32. Today, no major, economic, no major economic data is expected. The USD JPY rose on Friday to 84.79, reaching its highest level in six months. The pair, has retreated at, the pair retreated afterwards towards 84, but still managed to post a weekly gain of more than 250 pips, the biggest since November of 2009. The momentum is bullish, but faces a strong resistance at 84.80. Overall, USDJPY traded with a low of 83.12 and with a high of 84.73. No, no economic data is expected today. The Canadian dollar strengthened against the U.S. dollar throughout the last week as crude oil prices climbed to its highest level since September 2008, reaching $108.40 per barrel. If oil prices will continue to strengthen, it may bring the pair to new record lows. In addition, the GDP is expected to rise by 0.50% as it had previously. Overall, USD CAD traded with a low of 0.9625 and with a high of 0.9707. Today, the BOC Business Outlook or Bank of Canada Business Outlook survey is expected. Well, that's it for me. Be sure to visit us at maxiforex.ru.